Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ragini and I do upload faith-based videos twice a week. So do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel. That way you will get notified as soon as I upload new videos every day. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all my favorite Bible tools which I use for my Bible study. Now I know there's so many different pictures and videos out there for fancy Bible journaling or Bible decor or Bible study tools. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but the entire point over here is to read the Word of God, to study the Word of God, and to soak in His Word, and, and most importantly, to be in His presence. Amen? So these are a few of the things I'm going to share with you today, including my Bible and the tools that I use to study the Bible, like the pens and the highlighters and all this other stuff. A few days ago on Instagram, I had asked you... Uh, some questions related to what you would like to see on my videos. Most of you were asking me what type of Bible do I use and what type of markers do I use and all these questions. And that's one of the reasons I'm making this video today and I'm hoping it will be helpful for you all. So are you all ready? Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Bible. The Holy Bible which I use is King James Version. And it looks like this it's a very thick bible and i recently got this it's a study bible it has a lot of information i have a whole um, new video about the bible review for kjv and i will link it somewhere up here as well as down below in the description box so make sure you check it out this bible is very very um informational it has a lot of archaeological historical background it shows you exactly how to read the Bible, how to use the concordances and how to study the Bible. Because to read, anybody can read. But to study and understand the Word of God in its context, it's very important. So this is the Bible I use. It's KJV version by Thomas Nelson. It's a full color edition. It says beautiful, trustworthy and timeless. So once again, all the details will be in my description box. Another thing which I use for my Bible study is the sticky notes. And these are all the bright colored sticky notes. This is how I use the highlighters and the sticky notes. Like whatever I find the main points, I write them down on the sticky notes and I just stick it over here. And um, I will also make sure that I don't stick it completely because I can always go back and refer to the footnotes. So you can use it however you want to use it. But these are very, very important. I normally write down the Bible verse which speaks to me more or the one which I want to memorize and I go through it and this makes it more easier. So this is how I use the sticky notes. When I study the Bible, I really um, enjoy using the highlighters because any passage or any words that speaks to me, I highlight it with different colors. Color system you can use when you're studying your Bible. And I'll share with you a few things the way I use it. But these are the highlighters which I highly recommend you guys to use because these highlighters don't bleed through. And these are from Midliner Creative Marker. Let's say we'll highlight this part. I wouldn't say that it completely uh, doesn't show. It does a little bit, but it doesn't bleed through. Like there's very little bit of it. Actually, you can't see this at all. See, I just highlighted this part over here. When you see behind, you don't see over here at all. But if you use different kinds of other highlighters, they would still bleed and it would mess up the entire Bible. But these are really cool and I highly recommend you to use this. Another thing I love using is this pen. I got this from uh, Staples. It was just for a dollar, but the way how it is, the way how it looks, it's soft, light pink, and I don't know if you can see the tip properly, but it's ink pen. And yes, this will bleed through your Bible because the Bible pages are very, very soft and delicate. It depends on what Bible you're using. I will also show you how this one looks on my Bible when I use it. And this one, it's called U Brands. I'm not sure where else you can get this. Maybe on Amazon, you can check it out. 
but I got this from Staples and it was very cheap, it's very convenient, it's very easy to use and it looks great. I love the way how it's designed and its color. But the main important thing is I also use this for my journaling, a very nice and smooth pen. So you can use, you can literally use any pen you, you have used before and you like it, but this is what I use. So as you all can see how dark it is and just write something. And you can see it's very nice, but if you go back here, it is bleeding through. You can see it. So sometimes I do not use this pen, but I like to use this pen while I'm doing journaling or jotting down things in my journal. I use this pen for that reason, but I prefer using the highlighters more than the pens on my Bible. Now let's talk about bookmarks. So bookmarks are basically very helpful for you to use because next time when you open your Bible or your journal, it shows you where exactly you stopped. Now the Bibles normally do have its own included uh, bookmarks like ribbons or stuff like that. But I do also like to use different styles and types of bookmarks, including this one. This is like um, a light blue um, beads and it says faith. And it's totally your choice if you like to be creative and use something different or you can just use the ribbons from the Bible. You don't have to go fancy or crazy because the main important thing over here is to read the word, understand the word and be in the presence of our Lord. Amen. But again, if you're a creative person, like I love to do creative things and colorful things, there's no harm. But at the end of the day, my goal is to read the word and understand it and not take it out of the context. So I think bookmarks do help. And other thing is also these cards. I have another whole video about this Christian cards, which you can share with people. It does have um, the verses and they're really beautiful looking cards. You can also use these as bookmarks. So I have lots of this, which I share with my friends and family, sometimes strangers. And I also use these as bookmarks. So totally your call, whatever makes you feel good and helpful use it but these are a few of the things which i use and they actually really make um, everything easier for me the last thing i want to share with you all is the bible journal now you can get a separate bible journal from amazon or from any stores but i do use the simple book which i was given as a gift by my auntie uh, auntie lynette if you're watching this thank you once again for this and your blessings and I love this book and you can get this type of books anywhere at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Staples or any libraries and it says patience, peace, kindness, goodness, love, joy, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. So what I love doing is normally um, I read the word of God and uh, sometimes I use the soap method or sometimes I just underline or highlight the main verses which speaks to me and if I want to dig deep into the study and information I'll go through my Bible because this Bible does have all the information archaeological information historical and everything else so I write it down or I jot it down in this journal and then how I apply that verse or the Word of God or the instruction commands how to obey everything which is which I'm reading and learning through the Word of God I do write in this book of course, there are times that um, I don't jot down things every single day, but whatever appears to be more hard for me to understand or something, I definitely write it down and pray about it and do more research and that helps a lot. So I highly recommend you all to have a side book or a journal where you can study your Bible and write down what things did you learn, what is difficult for you to learn, what instructions of God, how is the word of God or that specific word speaking to you this can be very helpful. Also recently I got this beautiful bag. It's it's like a tote bag and it's so cool the way you can see. It's a dark pink color and it has a cross over here and I use this bag because um, I do have my friends with whom I go out for Bible study over the weekends or weekdays depending on our schedule so I put all my Bible tools in here including the highlighters and my journal as well as the Bible itself and actually this one comes with um, a small pouch and once you open this and it's like this and you can put all your highlighters and pens and whatever tools you use this is a very cool product or item because I, I believe that 
if you have everything organized before you go out and also use this bag at your church when you go to the church you can put your bible and your highlighters and your journal everything inside here they do have different colors i got this from amazon it styles over here it's written being loyal to yourself is faith and there is a cross over here and a quick disclaimer this is not a sponsored video none of these things are sponsored I do not earn anything out of these things because my main aim is to share with you all what I use and how it helps me so it can make your life easier if you use these things too if you want to understand better and um, uh, it can help you also when you're doing your reading or studying the word of God. So yeah, these were some of my Bible study tools and I really hope you got encouraged watching this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. If you have anything else you would like to share, please feel free to do so. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, you guys take care. God bless you all and stay rooted in Christ. Bye.